Today we take a look at the Wooster Sherlock extension poles. So this one is a 6 to 12 and this one is a 4 to 8. Now there is a newer style that is a Wooster Sherlock GT that has a pin just like this on the end and we can use that to click in the roller brush. So with this one you don't have that but what we do have with this one is that spiral lock that is actually made out of metal. So on the GT it comes with that press in click but we have a plastic adapter that is going to attach anything that actually has a spiral. But because this one has that metal spiral it's going to be a little bit more secure a little bit stronger for anything that you're going to be attaching a screw base to. But these are both extended so all we got to do is press this button and we can extend that out in six inch increments. And the 48, I mean, this is quite a good length. If you get midway up a second level, this is going to be the one that you want. And plus, if you're going to be doing anything where you're going to be doing like uh, interior work or anything like that, the four foot length is just about perfect for that because you can hit low, you can hit high, and plus you'll have the balance on the other hand to make it so that you're not really putting in as much effort. With the 12 foot version, it's the exact same thing. Press the button. And we can get way out there. Now they do make poles that are even longer than that, but really anything beyond 12 feet is gonna, you might as well just get a ladder. I do have to say my favorite thing about this is just how nicely it actually locks in place. Simply with one little pin. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it to use. With the eight foot fully extended, I can't reach that, especially with the, uh, with the brush on the end. But with the 12 foot, I can do that, and I've got a little bit more on the back so that I can kind of balance this thing. So it just makes it that much easier. So there we go. Used about a gallon of paint. I think that turned out pretty good.